What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 20th intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we are finally going to be going over applets. And this is probably the most common use of Java on the internet. What an applet is, is, is pretty much basically in essence a way of using a Java program through your internet browser. So this is how people can share, um, I mean if you ever played RuneScape, that's what this is if you have like a Scott trade account um, they use applets heavily so in actually if you wanna just view a couple examples of a Java applet go ahead to your computer let's go computer and let's see if I can find it under C program files uh, under Java your JDK version um, click let's see I think it's under demo applets this is a list of applets that's pretty much built into the JDK whenever you install it. So go ahead and click like draw test or something like that. And now you see you have a bunch of classes in the Java file. And this example right here is actually a URL, um, a Firefox, Firefox document. So if you want to check in, you want to see if you have the applet container, which is pretty much the way you use applets. Let me minimize this so I can actually get it in my screen recorder. See, this is a Java program that is able to be used from the uh, browser itself. So this is called Draw Test, and I didn't build this. It comes with your JDK. Go ahead and click Points and pick a color. So here's a just a real quick example of how you can have a Java program running right inside your internet browser. So this is what we're going to be creating in these next tutorials but you know nothing this advanced right now so let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is create a real basic applet so go ahead and click import Java AWT and what this is gonna well these are just your imports you want to import Java X swing as well and the way you even set up a class is a little bit different in order to create a class you need to have the extend J applet and this is the crash in the class use to create applets so let's go ahead and get started enough of me talking public class I'm just gonna name mine Bucky and it needs to extend J applet and like I said this is a class that you need to inherit from because this tells Java you're gonna be creating an applet now why do you inherit from it because anytime your browser tries to open an applet there are certain methods that it needs to have and the methods are in J applet, so that's why you need to uh, inherit from there. And you can, of course, override them, which we'll be learning to do later on. But for now, I'm just going to make a real basic, um, pretty much the most basic thing I can have. So what we want to do is we just want to paint something or print it on the screen. So go ahead and make a method public void paint. And of course, you remember from our, not even our intermediate intermediate tutorials these are our tutorials from long ago you pass a graphics object in named G and this allows you to paint on the screen or pretty much print text so let's call it super class of paint and pass it in that G that we just had just created and now with our drawing object which is G we can draw strings on the screen so draw string and it takes three parameters the iterator which is pretty much the text, I don't know why they named it the iterator. We'll type a uh, wow, this actually worked. You can type anything you want. And X and Y is, of course, the positioning. Put it 25 across and 25 down. So now, here is our very first applet. And the cool thing about Eclipse is, of course, whenever we created a website, we want to go in with our FTP. But uh, with, it, with Eclipse, you don't have to do all that. All you have to do is press run, press OK and it'll start the applet viewer right for you so here's your applet viewer here's your status bar this means the applet started and here is our applet itself so this would usually appear once you go to like someone's website like Scott trade or runescape or something this would pop up but for now it's just gonna pop up as a standalone without having to do your web browser so this is an excellent um, way of testing your applets real quick through a uh, I mean that's the beauty of Eclipse. That's another reason why it's just uh, totally awesome, and you should get it. So if you're coding in Notepad++, that's another reason to download that. But now that we made a sample applet, um, 
I mean, we probably want to be learning to do some stuff other than just writing text to our screen. So now that we learned to create it, and now that you know your computer is not messed up, we can finally move on to the next uh, tutorial. So in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to put this on an actual real website so that anyone can access it. And also be learning how to make some pretty sweet applets. But just go ahead and do this all to make sure that um, you actually have Java on your web browser and nothing's messing up. And once you uh, coded this simple applet, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.